scores with the Royals tonight. 40 saves, 40 shots faced. Can you say about his play? Yeah. Uh, obviously, he's on, on top of his game right now. Um, he's making some, some really big saves for us. And, uh, you know, he, he's given the team some, some extra confidence right now. So that's uh, definitely a positive thing. He works extremely hard. Um, you know, he's very thorough with how he approaches the game. So i um, not surprised that, that he's capable of this type of uh, play. And what can you mention on the defense in front of him tonight? Of course, 40 shots face, a lot of tests for Parker, but down the stretch, multiple clears and a lot of shots blocked, sacrificing the body to big for the club and show you guys tonight. Yeah, um, there was a couple big moments there. Um, you know, whether it be getting the puck out on a face-off, you know, winning a, a puck battle along the wall, blocking those shots. Um, collectively, as a as a group, you know, they worked really hard and um, were really determined and you know desperate to win a hockey game, uh, and that was key for us. And um, you know, especially with us playing them six consecutive games, that's uh, that's a, a great way for us to start. Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, it's it's something that that we felt uh, we have a, a decent um, collective leadership group. Um, it wasn't really something that that we needed to pinpoint immediately. Um, I had kind of been on on both sides of it as a player and as a coach, where um, you know you see you see that collectively as a group they're able to to kind of get that job done um but with us you know it, it's just something that we haven't uh haven't made a decision on yet and if we don't make a decision on it it is what it is yeah as a coach have you seen a recent confidence boost um there is there is areas where you know they're uh the guys show confidence and uh and then there's times where there's lack of confidence. So um, there's ups and downs in, in all situations. You know, the first game in, in Idaho where you score seven, and then today it's a defensive battle uh, for one nothing. Um, and, you know, you're not going to generate as many scoring chances. And I think it was Nardi with about two minutes, three minutes left or whatever it was, had a, a, a grade A opportunity that, you know that puck probably went in for us in that seven three game um so there's moments where the confidence is high and then you know it drops down but i think the the way that they stay with it they continue to work hard um of course you're going to get frustrated at moments but it's continuing to play the same way um and not trying to cheat for offense and and do things differently um, they stayed with it tonight and you know the result was there Yeah, any time that we turn the puck over, they're capable of generating offense, whether it be in zone or on the rush. Um, they have D-men that, that uh, activate and get involved in the offense. So there's, there's a lot of things that they do well offensively um, that we need to make sure we're smart with the puck, minimize their chances against, um, you know, just continue to play smart hockey. Alex Scott, I went through tonight. Goals in the last four games, and three of those be multi-goal games. Mm -hmm. um, how did you see your defense really uh, keep him restrained? And then when he did get chances, uh, Parker had an answer for him. Was there a certain approach you had to Kyle, or more of a group? I think collectively, um, you know, is, if if it's the defenseman or the forwards, they did a good job of keeping him to the outside for the most part. Any time that um, you know we had the puck, we did our best to protect the middle of the ice. That's something that we've talked about. But I mean, it's it's not uh, one game doesn't dictate um, that you know he's going to come back tomorrow, and I'm sure he'll be better and um, be hungry to continue to score goals. Good. Shout out for you, and you could just speak on. The feeling you have as a shutout here on home ice, how cool the moment was that for you tonight? Yeah, anytime you get a shutout, it's a cool experience. You know, I think it's only like my 11th pro one, so you know it's maybe 10% of the time you get one. So it's not doesn't happen too often. Um, so anytime you get one, it's pretty special. And what can you speak on? Just the part of your game that's been feeling at its best. A lot of glove saves, but also your your left pad extension has been all over. Uh, redirections and a lot of great work on covering up the puck. Is that something you work on a lot in practice? You were out on the ice early with Matt Brown again today. Something you focus on? Or that kind of come to you in the game? 
I think uh, my main focus is just kind of competing out there, just trying to stay between the puck and the net, really. So, um, you know, I, I kind of just let the puck kind of in front of me and then just kind of move move between the puck and the net. But, um, you know, there's definitely certain situations you might look back on a game, you know, you might see something that you might not have liked, and then, you know, you just kind of go back and work on it. But, um, you know, I may have one time worked on that, but it's not uh, not every day. Question for Yeah, I think the guys just uh, kind of playing each, kind of knowing their roles and just playing their roles. Um, you know, I think that's kind of the biggest thing for a winning team and just having the, I guess, the belief that, you know, you kind of come back and win in, you know, whatever situation you're in. In your position as a goalkeeper, what are you looking for from the other team? From the other team? Um, I mean, I guess I just uh, kind of take in the situation. I definitely... You can't just be puck focused out there. You have to look off the puck, kind of see, you know, what the, how many guys are coming in the zone, um, just the handedness of guys coming down, just to recognize that, and you know, it just have, definitely helps you uh, anticipate the play and you know about what's about to come at you.